The Mizoram Presbyterian Church has been doing mission to other people for about 100 years. Even before we are Christian, that is the Mizo idea. Whatever they receive, if is good, they want to give another. So that is the mind of Mizo. That is why from the time that we become a Christian, they try to give the gospel that we receive. We are now able to preach and witness the gospel to India wherever we want. This is the unique position that we have. If we are an independent country, we will not be able to witness as we are doing now. Our church membership is over 5 lakhs and we have 2,180 missionaries. Our church people, they think the missionaries very highly. The general Mizo people have that feeling that missionary is very much higher in faith, in terms of long-suffering, in terms of zeal for the work. You must be ready to die on the spot. You must give your everything for the people you are working for. And you must forget whatever you have left behind. Once you go, you go there totally, mind, body, and spirit. Huh. The reason why me, many Mizo want to become a missionary is because of the work of Holy Spirit. We feel called by our Lord to carry on the task of spreading the good news to the world. Right now they are planning to appoint about 100 missionaries, but every year for the post of 100 missionaries, more than 500 will apply that advertisement. The young people are eager to go to mission fields to be a missionary. They don't find it enough to be just a Christian at home. They want to be a missionary. We give easily, even though we don't have much. The idea to give a lot of money to the mission is normal in the Church of Mizoram. From the very beginning of our ministry, the Mizoram Presbyterian Church has been trying to uh, be self-support, self-sufficient. We have many ways of fundraising for missionary supports. But besides this, we have a very, very important way that we raise our missionary fund. That is handful of rice, or in Mizo language, Bufai Tram. So this Bufai Tram we collect from every Christian home, whether uh, little or uh, more sum. They, they give it happily because the, it's not much. Uh, some people, they kept the aside three handful of rice and then some of them one cup of rice uh, saying that the uh, uh, Lord Jesus will eat with our family. This one is rice container. Bufai <laughs> cham. Uh, this one is Bufai cham container. Kasoy to amain. One, two, Three cup is enough for morning breakfast. And then one, two, three. It goes to the church, and then after that, like uh, those uh, those women ministry, those women ministry, they sell it uh, a lower price to the poor people. This is a gift, yeah, from its family. We help people, those who are less fortunate people, they can get it uh, without buying from the market. The Ministry of Handful of Rice is supporting the church uh, mission and pastoral site also in, in a big way. Sometimes they say that uh, this money can pay all the salary of our uh, pastors. Yeah, this is very useful.
all the families in our church. Whether they give much or less, they give. And the more they can give, they believe that the more blessing they get from the Lord. Even if you feel that you are big enough or great enough or you have enough funds, you cannot do everything on your own. It is a must, it is necessary to partner with other churches, uh, other mission organizations, so that you can reach more and more. And when you are partnering with others, what you can do is much, much more than what you do alone.